Hi, this is Trey Passer, and this is my Amazon, eBay, and DVD update for the week. Um, I ordered stuff from Amazon last week, and I ordered stuff from eBay last week, and I also got stuff from a. I know in one of my previous videos I talked about I got some DVDs from a store that's uh, up the block from where I live, uh, literally for six ninety nine. They're selling brand new uh, DVD movies for six ninety nine. So I picked up a couple and. Here's everything right here, literally. <laughs> okay, and um, I'm just going to show you. Okay, I'm going to save the Amazon thing for last because it's in a box. So I'm just going to start off with uh, the first thing I have on the pile here. And again, $6.99. I got this at the store. This is Roman Holiday starring Gregory Peck and Audrey Hepburn. A fantastic movie. Uh, this is a two-disc set. There's the back right there. Again, on sale for $6.99. Couldn't pass that up. Let me open it. It's supposed to be a, a two-disc set, so let me open it so you can see. Okay. Let's uh, open that. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, it has a nice slip cover. That's a nice uh, slip cover. Okay. And there's the... Uh, right there. There's the movie right there. <laughs> Okay, and there's the back, and let's open it up, and there how it looks on the inside. It has a nice, because this is the uh, apparently the uh, Centennial Collection right there, and it has a little booklet with it, and it has, uh, I guess, pictures of the filming going on right there. There you see that. There you go. Nice picture right there, beautiful picture. And there's another picture right there. Audrey Hepburn, Gregory Peck. And there's the back right there. That's the, um, I guess, the premiere of the film right there. And again, there's the uh, this one that has the feature film right there. And there's the uh, hold on, this two. Which has the special features right there. Okay, put that in here. Just back. Okay. And the special features, you know, Audrey Hepper on the Paramount Years, Remembering Audrey, Rowan with a Princess, uh, Dalton Trabone from A List to Blacklist, Restoring Roman Holiday, Behind the Scenes Costumes, and Paramount in the 50s, a retrospective, retrospective featurette. Okay. So that's good. Let me put this back in here. Okay. Love this. And uh, I saw that movie a long time ago on AMC. Absolutely love it. Audrey Hepburn has never been so more beautiful. And Gregory Peck is absolutely charming in that movie. Uh, this is a, a TV series that I saw a few years ago. Um, it's called Daybreak, starring uh, Ty Diggs. Um, basically, it's sort of like Groundhog Day <laughs> in that the guy, the detective, he's a cop. And he's literally living, reliving the same day over and over again. And um, it got canceled before its time. But according to this, there was um, 13 complete episodes of this. And I think I saw that uh, see, there were seven episodes that were never aired. So I guess I didn't see those. So that's why I got this. And it's six ninety nine. And uh, I absolutely love this movie. And there's, I mean, this TV show, I absolutely loved it. And I was kind of sad when they canceled it. So I'm glad I get to, to see how it ended. Okay, there's the uh, the back of it, and this lady right here, her name is Blood Moon Glow. I think what's her name? Her name is uh, I think it's Blood Moon Glow. She has one. Of, yeah, yeah. No, it's called it's Moon Blood Good right here. There she is right there. She's absolutely gorgeous, and just fantastic. I just want to open this up real quick so you can see. And I'm gonna be watching this just to see the rest of the episodes that I missed. Yeah, that were never aired, actually. So, okay. And, okay, it's two discs. There you go. Let's see. Okay. There we go, two discs. Okay. So, I'm glad I got that. Now, this is something that I got off of eBay, I think, because I opened it before when I got it. Let me just pull it out of the box. And let's see. Yep. This is uh, something I got off of eBay. 
and this is a steel book of Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I absolutely love this movie, and this is the French version of it. Okay, uh, there it is. I won it in an auction on eBay. There's the back. There's this. There's the side in French, and I'm gonna open this up so I can see what the inside. I know what the inside looks like. I saw it on when I bid when I won the bidding for this. So let's open that up. And I was bidding for this for a while, and then finally won one of the auctions for this movie. And okay, let's open. This. Okay, there we go. Oh, it had a piece of. Oh, okay, okay. It had this literally. Uh, when I was showing you the back, this had this thing that was actually literally taped on right there. Okay, that slip. Okay, and so there's the two back right there. Okay, so let's uh, see what's in here. Okay, um, this is the I guess the DVD copy. And oh, oh, okay. And it has a, uh, you know the, you know the digital code, right there on this, and it has a, actually. The, I guess this would be film slides, film slides from the movie. I know uh, Amarat A six 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 is really big into this, and this looks actually pretty nice. Actually, I don't know if you can see that up close. You see what that looks like. Put that down for a minute, and it has another. That's it. Well, that's the film code, and there's the two disc right there on that side. And let me take them out so you can see the inside artwork. Okay, and there's the great inside artwork on that. It's fantastic. Absolutely love this. Let me put this back in there. And there we go. And let's put this back in there. And these great uh, film cells right there. That back. And the uh, DVD copy. Put that back in there. But anyway, I love the feel of this. This is like embossed right there, the, the lettering right there. And this is a nice matte finish right there. Like I said, there's the side. I absolutely love this movie. And I already have a, a steel book of the ride. I, got the, I guess the English version of it that I got from my good friend Chris Blue 007, Mr. Steelbook. He sent that to me. And now I have this. And I have the, uh, the American Blu-ray DVD copy. But I absolutely love this French version. I saw it and I absolutely fell in love with the design of this. And... Let me just open it up there so you can see it literally like that. That's it's absolutely fantastic. I'm grateful that I got this. Okay, now this is another thing I got from Amazon. This is what I got from Amazon. These the rest of this is from Amazon. Um, this is uh, Sunshine Cleaning. I had this DVD I got. I, if you saw my previous video update, I think I had the DVD of this, and now I got the Blu-ray because I wanted some special features because I was reading about. Uh, there were deleted scenes in this, but this apparently doesn't have any deleted scenes. It just has the only special features it has in it is audio commentary, you know, featuring the writer and the producer, and then a fresh look at dirty at a dirty business. Because I had read, you know, from one of the actresses in a comment saying that that there were deleted scenes that that they filmed, but they cut it out. But apparently, it's not in this version, which kind of disappoints me. But I love the movie anyway, so I'm gonna keep it. Okay, so again, Sunshine Cleaning, a really great movie. Okay, now this next thing, um, I saw this um, by another fellow YouTuber. Had it. Uh, her name is Karate Popcorn Robin, a great fellow YouTuber. Um, this is the the Watchmen, uh, the ultimate cut of the Watchmen, the complete story. Okay, this is the DVD version of this, and let me uh, literally take this out so you can see what it looks like on the inside. I saw her version of it. And I saw a bunch of other my other fellow YouTubers who had this, and I absolutely love this movie, uh, Watchmen, a very underrated movie, and I'm so disappointed that it didn't do well at the box office because I thought this movie was absolutely fantastic. Okay, and of course this is based on the you know the short story by um not the short story the uh, graphic novel by I can't remember the guy's name now <laughs> I'll remember it later, but uh, <laughs> again there it, there it is right there. This is a five disc limited edition set, and there's you tells you what's in each each disc. And you can pause that and see that. This one is a movie. This two is special features. This three and four is uh, the entire graphic Walkman graphic novel comes to life in twelve chapters of Watchmen, the complete motion comic. And five is a digital copy of a theatrical feature. Okay, 
And so let's uh, see that, how that looks on the inside. I have the steel book of, uh, of Watchmen, and I have the, uh, the Blu-ray of Watchmen. So, yeah. Take this out, literally. Okay. Take that down, and um, let's see. Okay, it has this nice lip on it. <laughs> and, of course, let's, uh, there we go. Now that, okay, it opens up. This is how it is, and it opens up like this. Okay. Okay, and let's, uh, and it has the file, the, uh, the disc there, and you can see it. Right there, the disc in there. Absolutely love it. I would love to have a poster of all the Watchmen like that, which I probably should make. I could do in my job, I, actually. Just let you see that. Absolutely love that poster of the Watchmen right there. Okay, and of course here is the complete motion comic of twelve episodes as a graphic novel come to life. There we go. And. Okay, this is of course taped, which is uh, let's see if I can um, get the tape off of it real quick. And let's see. Yeah, okay, here we go. See, excuse me. Of course, tape never cooperates when you want it to cooperate. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. And, of course, inside it just has a, a little advertisement thing. A little more stuff about the Watchmen. Okay, there we go. Video game download available. Okay, some more advertisement for movies and stuff. Blade Runner, Harry Potter, Happy Feet. And of course, it has the disc, disc one, and disc two. Okay, so let me put that back in there. There we go. And let me show you the other this right here. Watchmen, the complete story. The end is near. And this neck feels nice and uh, matte, matte, matte finish to this. And of course, there we go, more of the Watchmen characters right there. And of course, it opens up like this. Here's the uh, visual copy thing, which probably is no more good anymore. There we go. Okay. And there we go. I love the way it opens up. You probably can't see everything on it, but there we go. Let me pull it back a little bit. Okay. There we go. I actually love this movie by Zack Snyder. Alan Moore, that's the guy. I can't remember his name before, but Alan Moore, who wrote the graphic novel about the Watchmen. Okay. There we go. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, and let me just show you this. This looks absolutely fantastic. I don't know if they were planning to make more sequels to this, which they probably were if this was successful. But unfortunately, it wasn't successful enough. But I actually love this movie, Watchmen. Like I said, I'm a big Zack Snyder fan anyway, but I love, I literally love this movie. <laughs> the movie was just fantastic to me. Okay, so let me um, put this to the side and get to the to the last thing so this video doesn't last 20 minutes. <laughs> well, it's going to last 20 minutes anyway, but here's my Amazon stuff that I ordered from Amazon. I think I still have more stuff to come that I'm supposed to get later from Amazon, but it's, you know, I think it's coming from, from a distance, so that's why I didn't get it yet, but I think this stuff that's in this box is the majority of the stuff that I ordered. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So let me just pull the stuff out. Okay. There we go. Okay. 
There we go. Now, let's start off with this movie. This is a DVD. Uh, this is called a movie called Lovesick, starring Dudley Moore and Elizabeth McGovern. I saw this movie literally uh, in Alec Guinness is on there. If you see the back there, there he is on the right, reading the paper. Um, I saw this movie on, on um, HBO years ago. <laughs> uh, this movie is absolutely fantastic about a psychiatrist who, uh, who happens to fall in love with his patient, played by Elizabeth McGovern, who looks absolutely, absolutely beautiful, and you would literally fall in love with her after seeing this movie. She's absolutely gorgeous in this movie. And like I said, he, um, Dudley Moore plays a doctor who's treating her, and of course he falls in love with her. <laughs> And, of course, everything that happens after that, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. Okay, it has great actors in Ron Silver, Alan King is in it. Uh, it's just absolutely a, a great movie. Um, de definitely, I would highly recommend this movie. It's from the 80s, I believe. Or, no, 1977. Okay, yeah, 1977. Okay. Or is it? Well, hold on, let me make sure. Uh, no, this movie came out in 1983. I'm sorry, 1983. But it's a fantastic movie, Lovesick. Definitely would recommend getting this movie. It's just fantastic. Okay, put that down. Now the next movie is a movie that I I heard people talk about a lot, okay? And I'm anxious to watch this movie. Uh, of course, uh, called Attack the Block. Uh, my good friend, Clay, the Clay Singer, I think did a review of this movie when it first came out. And I think he went to see it, or I don't know if he saw it, or I know he did a review of it. and. Attack the Block was just absolutely fantastic. He, he gave it a rave review, and I like the premise of it about, you know, inner city kids in, in London. You know, they have to fight off these aliens. So there's the back right there. So that's why I got it. And he gave it a great review, and I'm anxious to look at it. I heard nothing but great things about it, so that's why I got it. And then this other movie uh, stars three of my favorite actors in it uh, Chloe, uh, Julianne Moore, Liam Neeson, and Amanda Seyfried. Um, basically, it's a story about a, a wife, Julianne Moore, who thinks her husband is cheating on her, and she hires a prostitute played by a man of safety to, to test him, I guess, in a way, to find out if he's faithful. And all the crazy stuff that happens after that. Okay, so, um, like I said, it has three of my favorite actors in it, and I'm anxious to see this. Nice thriller. Okay, and there's the back, that you can see. So, I can see that. And then the next movie is another movie that I saw, Blu ray. That I saw a long time ago. This stars, um, I'm sorry, uh, Rada Mitchell, Sean Bean, and Laurie Holden. Um, uh, Silent Hill about a woman whose daughter you know, literally disappears in this small town, and she can't find her. And basically, it's, it leads to a mystery and all this weird stuff that happens in it in this small town. And it's absolutely fantastic. I remember seeing it, seeing it on cable, absolutely loving it. So I saw it and had to get it. So. There you go, Silent Hill. Now, this next movie is another movie that I saw on, I think, HBO or Stars or one of the other channels, uh, starring Ryan Reynolds uh, and Amy Smart and Chris Klein and Anna Ferris, called Just Friends. Basically, a story about a, a you know, basically it's Ryan Reynolds. I guess he's, he, he's, you know, he literally, I guess, from the time he's little, he loves, um, he loves um, Amy Smart's character, who of course just sees him as a friend. And all the hilarious stuff that happens. When, basically, he grows up, I think, to become a, a record producer or something. And Anna Ferris is just hilarious in this movie. She plays like this out of control rock star who's constantly trying to seduce um, um, Ryan Reynolds. And it's absolutely hilarious. And I forgot one other thing by seeing the back of this movie. Uh, Chris Klein, not Chris Klein, Ryan Reynolds in this movie is, is, I think they put him in a fat suit and he's fat. And of course, and then he loses weight and all that stuff. He gets his hair fixed up and everything else. And of course, he comes back to try to woo back uh, his high school, you know, love, uh, play, you know, played by Amy Smart. And but like I said, Anna Ferris makes this movie. She's absolutely hysterical in this movie. Okay, put that down. And the last but not least movie that I have, well, not the last movie, but another movie that I got uh, is the prequel to, you know, the thing. Of course, there we go right there. Um, I saw this earlier this year, and I did a review of it on my channel, with spoilers, of course. And it's a great movie, um, a great prequel to the John Carpenter version. Very good. Um, stars, uh, like I said, Mary Elizabeth Winston. She plays the doctor that goes to, gets sent up to this, you know, to this place in, in, in Antarctica to, um, to, to discuss this. They find this ship and this alien frozen in, in this ice. And, of course, these people are having to be scientists. They're going to have to... 
they bring it in literally and, and then try to thaw it out and then all the chaos that happens after that okay and like I said this is a worthy sequel to the John Carpenter to one of 1985 or 82 I think I think probably 85 but this is a fantastic movie and I absolutely loved it okay and I love the slip cover that it has on it and you probably already seen there we go there's a blu-ray DVD or unboxing of this so I won't do that okay so got the thing there we go blu-ray and the last but not least thing that's in this box that I got was something that I saw on um on J Amarate six 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 on his channel um this is a the I Am Legend box set on Blu-ray okay there you go right there limited edition okay uh there's the back right there it tells you all the special stuff that's in it and I won't do unbox it because you've probably seen unboxings of this already. Okay, I'll take the packing off it when I put it up. But I had to get this. I love this movie. I am Legend, Will Smith. Great movie. Uh, like I said, this is a remake of the of the you know the Charlton Heston Omega Man movie. Okay, or in the Richard Matheson story, which is Last Man on Earth. Okay, which is absolutely great. I absolutely love this movie. Okay, now, so there's the back. There. So like I said, you've probably already seen unboxings of this, so I won't do that. Okay, and it's a three-disc set with two versions of the film, new filmmaker commentary, two hours of legendary new viewing materials and stuff. So that's what I got, and there it is. So that's my pickups uh, for this week. Feel free to leave comments below, and this is Trey Fasten saying so long, and take care.